Hello, and welcome to Looking Forward with our Senior Centers. The four Senior Centers served by PAC-TV are Duxbury, Plymouth, Kingston, and Pembroke. I'm Angela Sinnott, Assistant Director of the Duxbury Senior Center. I'm so happy to be with you today to share information about the programs and services offered at our campus and in the community. First of all, I'm thankful to PAC-TV and their amazing staff for making this program available in Duxbury, Kingston, Plymouth, and Pembroke. This program enables us to highlight the programs that we're offering in our communities. Senior centers offer programs that stimulate your mind, provide learning opportunities, help you to move your body, offer opportunities to socialize, enjoy recreational activities, and just have fun. I do want to stress that most of our programs require pre-registration, and this is so that we can be prepared to welcome you and that we can also notify you if there's a schedule change or a weather cancellation. It also helps us to invite you to similar programs that you might be interested in. Registration can be done easily online, by phone, or in person. Our August newsletter cover is a beautiful watercolor painting of a sailboat titled Docked in the Bay by local artist Gail Lloyd. It's something to see. And I'd like to share some highlights about what you'll find inside. If you're a Duxbury resident or just want to know more about this town, you'll enjoy getting to know some of our Duxbury officials in a series called Duxbury Talks. These are informal conversations with town leaders to meet them and learn more about what they do for our town. In August, come meet Susan Kelly, our town clerk. Another series that takes you out of the building and into the community is called Duxbury Walks. And our program coordinator, Tony Kelso, who's also the town historian, will guide you along paths on our scenic conservation lands. The August walk will be along the 1637 Duxboro Path. While you're walking, Tony shares a historical perspective of the land and certainly directions to this path are provided before the day of the walk. We really love music here in Duxbury and we'll be hosting an outdoor concert with the Loft String Quartet on Saturday, August 27th. If the weather doesn't cooperate, it's likely that we'll just move the concert inside. On Monday the 30th, we'll enjoy an hour of music in the morning with Steve Lanzalotta. Now August is also well known as the month of Elvis's birthday and we'll be offering two exciting programs to celebrate with Elvis. First, join us and other Elvis fans on August 9th for a surprise Elvis movie, and we'll have popcorn, of course. Then, the Bay State Elvis will be joining us for a musical tribute on August 11th. There will be singing, dancing, and tasting of the King's favorite peanut butter, bacon, and banana sandwiches. Now, if you've always wanted to perform like Elvis, perhaps you should start with an acting camp. And we'll be offering a one-week acting workshop the first week in October. At the end of this workshop, there'll be a showcase performance for your friends and family. Do you remember hearing about the Sacco and Vanzetti murder case that rocked America in the 1920s, but you always wanted to know more? Or maybe you've always wanted to go to the Canadian Rockies in Banff. Well, we have programs in August to satisfy both of these cravings. Speaking of cravings, stop by for lunch someday between Monday and Thursday, between 11 and one. Our new chef, Kathy, is whipping up some delicious new creations. Each day you can have the choice of a creative sandwich or a salad plate or a hot entree. We're really being spoiled here with our kitchen staff. In honor of National Eat Outside Day, we'll have a traditional summer backyard barbecue. So reserve your hot dog or burger and join us in our beautiful backyard. Chef Kathy will also be preparing a delicious chicken piccata dinner that you can enjoy here in our dining room in August, along with musical entertainment by Stephen Rich. Reading is another favorite pastime at the center. 
we're starting a new men's book club. Maybe you're interested in joining or you just want to know what the guys are reading. So give us a call. We'll also be hosting several author events, including the great community read of The Violin Conspiracy with Brendan Slocum. Um, read the books, come enjoy the discussion. I hope all of you are familiar with our lifelong learning program. Each fall and spring, we present a new semester of enriching and educational programs. The registration for our fall 2022 semester will begin on September 7th. And a full listing and description of these courses will be available on our website. And the course list will be in the September newsletter. Last but not least, our yoga teacher, Kim O'Brien, is offering a healing circle on Friday, August 26th. Please join us if you're healing from cancer, grief, illness, pain, sadness. The program will include reading for reflection, breath work, meditation, and healing affirmations. There's so much going on here. You really need to read the Duxbury Doings newsletter from cover to cover. And to learn more about what's happening at the Duxbury Senior Center in August or at any other time, visit our website at DuxburySeniorCenter.org or give us a call or visit us at our beautiful facility and campus located at 10 Mayflower Street in Duxbury. The Duxbury Senior Center is a welcoming place for all with programs and services to meet your needs and interests. We look forward to seeing you soon. Hello everyone, my name is Brenda Fitzgerald. I'm the Programs and Volunteer Coordinator here at the Kingston Council on Aging. Welcome to our Looking Forward segment. Um, we're here in the month of July that we are taping. We're gonna talk about the month of August, moving forward to fall, if you can even believe that is so close uh, to even be thinking about the month of September. So to start, I wanted to let everyone know that we do have a new director here at the Kingston Council on Aging. She started last Monday. Uh, we're having a great time um, building some programs together. Uh, her vision and things she'd like to see at the center implemented through the team here. Uh, all our positions are filled except for one. We still have the office and transportation position to fill. Uh, the last time uh, I spoke was as interim director and let the public know, although you see you know, empty seats and some changes here, we're always here to serve our seniors, never has, hesitate to ask any questions. Our new director has an open door policy, of course, as well. And we're just gonna keep moving forward, building our activities and calendar after COVID and all the staffing changes. Uh, we're only getting more and more robust here and happy, happy to report that. So aside from all the regular programs that we run, uh, and as we know, we have six different card groups, five days a week. We have 11 different exercise groups. We have five to seven groups that meet in the evening. We have two support groups, our bereavement and the cancer support group. Our public health nurse is here two to four times a month. Hearing screen screenings here at the center once a month our attorney services at the center once a month. Um, we also have our bingo on Thursday and our games group on Friday afternoons is growing as well. But other than that, we also are working on some new programs for the fall. Aside from all of our regular programs, we have a lot of fun and exciting things coming in the fall. One of them is going to be an afternoon at the movies here at the center. We hope to do that twice a month to start in September. As that program grows, as I'm sure it will, that ex is, is expected to be about one o'clock in the afternoon. In September, we're also hoping uh, to build other programs such as we are going to have Julia Childs here for a cooking show. Yes, you heard it right. Julia Childs is going to have a performance of a cooking show right here at our center. So stay tuned, look for our September newsletter, Go online, uh, of course, call the center. And I'm Brenda Fitzgerald, programs coordinator. My direct phone number is 781 831 6042. Other than the programs and services we provide here, such as Shine, our Meals on Wheels programs, um, moving 
forward with the heat wave that we just had. We were a cooling station, so our director works directly with our fire chief, and we were able to provide bottles of water and light refreshments, and of course, AC here at the building. In the last week, we've had uh, folks coming in we may not normally see that were able to come in and socialize and stay cool and get out of the house. So as that heat wave is ending, we are still that same center. I do hear we're gonna have some additional um, hot weather next week. So expect that we are always a cooling station and always a heating station during inclement weather. Come on down, this is your center. Our doors are always open. But other than all the wonderful changes that we've had here, it is still our happy, fun, bubbly center, very busy. Uh, our programs are only growing as we hopefully exit the post-COVID uh, world that we've been in and just continue, continue to see things go back to normalcy. We are proud of what we are doing here at the center. This is a great team. Um, as the programs coordinator and volunteer coordinator, I can attest to the happy socialization that you hear he, here at the center every day. And we hope to see you all soon. Hi everyone. I'm Beth Hadfield, the Activity Coordinator for the Center for Active Living. I would also like to thank Duxbury, Kingston, and Pembroke for all they do for their seniors as well as for ours. Today I'm going to talk about a lot of new programming and things happening in the next couple of weeks at the Center. On Mondays, Janet Enos has started a new class called Boxing Fitness. This class is at 8 a.m. Monday mornings. You must register for this class by the Friday before. On Wednesdays, we have added Yoga Flow with Kelly Pearson. And this class is done on the floor, on the mat. It happens at 10 a.m. Bingo is back, live and in person. For August, we will have bingo on Tuesdays, as we always did, on the 2nd, the 16th, and the 30th. Doors will open at 1230, with the first game starting at 1245. We continue to show movies every Friday afternoon. In August, the movies are as follows. August 5th, Death on the Nile. August 19th, Cry Macho. August 26th, Here Today. All movies start at 1245. We also have John Peters doing the Cal Dance Party one Friday a month. The next dance party is on Friday, August 12th from 2 to 4. Come listen to great music dance, and have fun. Do what moves you. On Monday, August 8th at 1 p.m., we will have Randall Charlton, the author of The Wicked Pilgrim, with us for his only Plymouth appearance. Randall's father, Warwick Charlton, built the Mayflower too. Randall wants to share the story about why his father built the ship and sailed the Mayflower II to our hometown of Plymouth. Tuesday, August 9th, we have Olivia Perry, audiologist from Hearing Life, bringing us breakfast and education called, I Can Hear You, But I Can't Understand You. You must register ahead of time. Seating is limited and breakfast needs to be purchased. On Wednesday, August 10th, we have Blake Dinius from the 4-H, uh, from the Plymouth County Extension, and he will be educating us on Little B Big World at 10 a.m. Don't forget the best news of all is that you can take a free ride to Cal on the Cal Express. All you have to do is call 
4404 to book your ride. This service is for Plymouth residents only. Thank you. Have a great week and I'll see you again soon.